Hello, we're at the Samsung booth at MWC, and I'm joined with Daniel, who is from Samsung Networks Europe. So, Daniel, can you tell me a little bit about Samsung Networks activities in Open RAN? What's, what's the latest developments? Sure. Uh, we are deploying Open RAN in the UK. Uh, it's a mass rollout, targeting 2,500 sites by uh, 2027. This is done together with Vodafone. And actually, this has been made possible because we have achieved or exceeded the KPIs from the incumbent vendor, which we are currently swapping. In the UK as well, we are integrating a massive MIMO antenna uh, from a third party. And actually, a massive MIMO antenna is the hardest component uh, to integrate in Open Run, but we are doing it successfully in the field. Uh, in Romania, uh, we are running several sites uh, Open Run with commercial traffic, and we are targeting to deploy uh, 20 cities uh, in the near future. And in Spain, uh, we are having this benchmark called Create together with Vodafone, uh, where basically the uh, RAN vendors are compared in exactly the same radio conditions. It's considered the absolute truth in terms of radio performance. And there we are demonstrating that Open RAN can perform at the same level or even better than traditional vendors. We are not only working with, uh, with Vodafone, we are also working with other operators in Europe. Um, with Telefonica, we are expanding Open RAN in Germany. And we are also working with another tier one um, we have cooperated in their um, ORAN integration center and we are also running some uh, open RAN sites with commercial traffic to demonstrate that RAN sharing can work properly in an ORAN environment. Okay, so there's a lot of deployment progress open RAN in Europe, but can you tell me what are the significant benefits for operators as they roll out this technology? Yes, the most significant benefits for operators in our view are uh, uh, flexibility, uh, innovation and also automation. Um, flexibility and optionality is probably the most obvious benefit of Open RAN uh, because basically operators can pick and choose which components they want from the best vendors. Um, if an operator has a problem with a particular component, they can choose to swap it out uh, or they can choose to keep deploying with the same component or a very similar component with a different vendor. And this is possible because those components are interchangeable and they interoperate perfectly with each other, thanks to open interfaces and interoperability. Okay, and um, looking at this year, what trends do you see emerging with European operators? Yes. One trend we see uh, quite clearly is consolidation. I mean, it's all over the news. Uh, this is quite good in our view, uh, because Europe is a big market, but it's quite fragmented, and uh, that's not great for operators nor vendors, because it makes it more difficult to achieve uh, a scale and this is very important for our business because it allows to uh, provide good communications to end subscribers at good prices. Uh, other other uh, things that we are seeing in the market are a lot of innovation. So now many operators are uh, launching a standalone 5G, which will bring uh, interesting use cases to, to the subscribers. And also we are seeing uh, a lot of innovation with Open RAN, um, not only with uh, chipsets, uh, but also a lot with uh, software tools many of which are based on AI, um, and uh, that will be bringing very interesting things as well. So what we see is a lot of interest in Open RAN, uh, which is uh, basically translated by more announcements, um, more, uh, more awards, and also big tenders where Open RAN is going to play an important role. Okay, so it looks like Open RAN is building up momentum. So thanks very much, Daniel. Thanks for your Thank time. You.